Hello, a very good evening to you all. So respected dignitaries, dear students, and our esteemed guests for the evening, a very warm welcome to all of you. I'm Shruti, your host for the short evening, where I'll steer you through the lofty values behind this large Gallery Pradarshak, as is commonly known now, is said to be the smallest gallery of fine art in India. It commemorates 29 years today. More, more importantly, it's the most celebrated student special exhibition with the Arthi Vishesh Kambuets 25 years. This is an exhibition that has made a positive impact on many young artists. Before I proceed, I take this opportunity to introduce and welcome our chief guest for this evening, A.R. Hiren Patel, an alumni for the renowned CEPT University in Lavad. A.R. Patel established A.R. Hiren Patel Architects in 1981. And he realized the power of art to change the world quite early in his career. And his story to working with inspiring artists from around the world has blurred the boundaries between the built form and nature. His art and design projects seamlessly entwine. Yar Patel not only encourages artists through his projects, but is a very prolific sketch artist himself. We are honored to have you here with us, sir. Our guest of honor, artist Brinda Miller, is an alumni of Sir J.J. School of Art and Person School of Design in New York. As a prolific artist, Brinda, <clears throat> Brinda Mann has showcased her work in 16 solo exhibitions, group exhibitions, and has participated and organized several art workshops both in India and overseas. Brinda Mann is also renowned for the success for the famous Kala Gura Art Festival that is celebrated every February in Mumbai. She has been the honorary fed festival director and is presently the honorary chair. She is also actively involved in the beautification and heritage of restoration projects in and around Kalagura Art District of Mumbai and is responsible for bringing art in public spaces to Mumbai, creating news for this city that she lives. Besides, she is also the education consultant at Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastra Sangharai, CSNVS Mumbai, Children's Museum Advisory Board. We sincerely appreciate your presence here this evening with so much on your plate, ma'am. Welcome, Brinda, ma'am. I now hand over the baton to our mentor at Gallery Production, Gayatri Mehta, and request her to briefly take us through through Vidyati Vishesh. Gayatri, ma'am. I think Gayatri has uh, not uh, been connected as yet. Yeah. Um, I think if we can go on to uh, invite uh, Khadilkar, sir. Okay. Till Gayatri so, Man comes. As we go ahead, the title of the show is Journey of an Artist. And as an artist myself, I'm very curious to know more about the thoughts in this journey. So may I invite Mr. Khadilkar, art critique and academician and senior most mentor of Gallery Pradarshak to give us an insight. Over to you, sir. Yes, yeah, Sri Ram. First, I congratulate from the bottom of my heart to Gallery Pradarshak. I also congratulate Savita ji and motivator stays always behind the scene is Mr. Lalit for celebrating Silver Jubilee year of Pradarshak with this show. Come to five years in any field, especially Mumbai's art field is not an easy task. Today, visual art, today visual art is attracting and also very, uh, very much available for common people of the society. And Gallery Pradarshak is also full, giving full support in, uh, in many ways. Fantastic thing is that young artists or young students studying in various art schools get the platform to present them in art world. At Pradarshak, they get experience of presentation of the painting, displaying the work, and they get chance to sell also. This is the first step of, I can say, this is the first step of art of living through selling the painting. Gallery Pradarshak has been helping hand in this entire process. Theme of today's show is journey of an artist. In a very short time, it's very difficult to explain the entire process but uh, if you will uh, 
see the process of entire happening uh, about this uh, vidyarthi vishesh exhibition and uh, over the years uh, the performance of the students you will realize exactly the meaning what we want to say this uh, vidyarthi vishesh uh, show has been constantly attracting among young artists this show is showcase is a showcase of tomorrow's known artist but one have to wait for some years to realize this today there are 60 plus such artists who are doing very well in world of art when the journey is started from pradarshak we feel very proud and get very satisfaction i wish the great success to every participant of this show thank you thank you so much sir now may i invite ar harin patel sir to say a few words sir yeah um, good evening to everyone and thank you for inviting me for this initiative uh, i know sarika is always uh, in uh, connect with the art work and she had been to our office in ahmedabad and we had discussed about that and uh, is a uh, so nice thing of her to do such kind of activity uh, and uh, inviting me yes in today's time that uh, connectivity uh, going to the art gallery and see the things is the one thing but uh, people are occupied mm -hmm. and then you have the limitations of your own areas so if i want to see the work of uh, some brilliant artists of mumbai is become very difficult for us to go and actually visit so uh, the pandemic has taught us the new art of going online and almost try to understand yes still it is not the way you would see but it it gives you a fair idea and especially when we are in the design field we are able to visualize things a lot and the digital platform becomes uh, very useful and uh, Yes, there are always a thought of uh, different school of thought that okay, you know, like online art exhibition, how one can understand versus uh, uh, going to the actual things. But this gives a vast platform. If I, I have my uh, clients from the city in New York, I can say that why don't you go to this website and see the online exhibition of this beautiful work. So the the way I mean the horizon of the entire. Uh, uh the range of uh, going to the deepest part of the world is so possible by doing online so i am very much of fear of this thing and please keep doing such kind of activities because it connects so well and recently i am also re reading a book uh, on uh, david hockney's life and i i really i, I really admire that that uh, gentleman is today maybe 90 plus uh, and very legend artist he always use the technology and he always admired the new technology so when the iphone came he was the one who started painting on iphone and then when the ipad came he started painting on ipad and his ipad sketches are i mean he loves the technology so he is a man who talks about oil canvas but it's saying that he used the technology he used the for when the photography came he used the photography and the different kind of collage so artist has the uh, Absolutely, next level of the the creativity and the new technology, new platform are very really welcome. So I would rather congratulate like you guys to take this initiative, and I'm very happy to invite you for this. Yes, I would like to see that. Uh, Yeah. So thank you for this. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you, sir. That was uh, that was really enlightening. I'm sure the students would really uh, appreciate getting an insight into this. Hmm. Shruti, can we continue? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir, for your words. Uh, Prinna, ma'am, may we now invite you to share your thoughts about the art and art journey of an artist? A few words, please, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Um, is the sound good? Is it, can you hear me? 
Yes, yes. Yes, Brenda. You're clear. Yes, yes. We can. Okay. So, uh, good evening to everyone. I uh, must tell all of you, uh, Savita, you, this is something that you also may not know. But uh, when you say this gallery is 29 years old, uh, I remember about uh, maybe 28 years ago, maybe, uh, I uh, used to live in Bandra and uh, I thought, wow, there's a gallery here in, uh, uh, you know, in this part of the city. Of course, even to this day, I would say that there is no gallery in that part of the city like Pradarshak or who has lasted that long uh, in that part of the city. I think most of them are in Kalagoda, then South Bombay, then Kolaba, and uh, some are in Worli. And uh, I said, I must go there and try and exhibit my work there. And uh, the thing is, I had my children at that time. And so I didn't go really. I was really busy uh, raising my kids by which time I moved to South Bombay uh, a couple of years later. And uh, I remember all this because I'm comparing it to the ages my children are now. And uh, well, kudos to you all for uh, still being there at this uh, ripe age of 29 and on the threshold of being 30, which is another very big year for you all. And uh, I always admire people who kind of mentor artists because, you know, always I remember uh, taking younger artists, newer artists and uh, upcoming artists and uh, evolving. And I identify with that because I do the same thing at uh, my Kalagoda. Just a second, uh, Brinda. I think there's a lot of disturbance. Somebody's mic is open. Uh, may I request you all to mute your mics, please? Yeah, Brinda, I think we can continue. Sorry, sorry about that interruption. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I would say that I am some kind of a mentor to many art, young artists now at this age. And uh, I feel that, you know, uh, student shows, art shows must be encouraged. Students must be encouraged because they are the future. Children must be encouraged as well. And uh, I see that the new audience uh, has a different kind of uh, way of looking at art. And uh, young audiences have a different way. They, they look at more digital art. They look at more, uh, I mean, nowadays, of course, NFT. But uh, yes, the traditional art will, of course, still go on. And uh, I'm so looking forward to seeing the works at uh, the show, uh, online show. Online is a very uh, different medium for all of us. And uh, though, of course, during pandemic, it, it has caught on majorly. A uh, lot of options. We've also done an online festival at Kalagoda. And it has been quite an experience, quite a learning. And uh, I can see that a lot of it is part of the future. And uh, all the best to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brinda. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. So it has been an evening. This was loaded with deep thoughts. And I'm sure that the students present here have a lot to take home with them. Without much ado, I would like to invite our gallerist, Savita Hira Ma'am, to wrap up the evening. I can all proceed to the unveiling of the exhibition. Ma'am. Yeah, thanks, Shruti. Uh, there is a small um, hitch this evening. A very um, uh, dear Gayatri Mehta, who's also a mentor at our gallery, has not been able to join in for the evening. Uh, she was to actually take you on a small journey uh, talking about how Vidyarthi Vishesh was instituted and where it has reached. So I take the liberty to do that small introduction. Uh, we started the gallery in the year 1994 and in the month of June. The monsoon has somehow never uh, 
been on the agenda for us that uh, people will not visit during the monsoon or uh, the artists should not show during the monsoon. Uh, it's just that uh, it was a matter of fact, we got the gallery in June and we began. Uh, in the year 1995, again, it was the month of June when we were talking to somebody and we got inspired and said, let us also do a show for students. This is how we started Vidyarthi Vishesh. And since our uh, entire this thing has always been that we talk about uh, a title in Hindi. So our uh, gallery is also called Pradarshak, which means exhibitor. It translates exhibitor. So we call the show Vidyarthi Vishesh. We had the local colleges, uh, the art schools participating and gradually we got more and more artists visiting who told us that they were, uh, you know, uh, professors in different colleges. They were art teachers, they were art professors and they said, why not include our children? So the following year, the uh, number grew and uh, it went on growing. So thanks to a lot of uh, these art teachers who came to us and they uh, kind of encourage their students to come and participate with us. So the word spread, we started getting a lot of people from Aurangabad, Pune, Nasik, Sangli, Kolhapur, Sholapur, everywhere. And as they had uh, friends in other parts of India, the conversations moved to, uh, you know, uh, Baroda, Delhi, Lucknow as well. And uh, every year we would see different uh, participation. So this is how the entire uh, exhibition kept growing. We would have about 70 to 80 students that we have showcased every single year with the number going up to number of exhibits going up to about 200. So we would take one or two framed works and the remaining unframed, as you know, we have no space, but uh, the exhibition would be on for two months and it suddenly, it just gradually grew. A lot of art lovers started looking forward to it and they are the ones who actually made this exhibition popular because uh, it was not like art is you know it was no longer the prerogative of the rich it was the pride of every home every lay person who would like to have art and he knew that by coming to the exhibition uh, from uh, by art from student artists he would get affordable art and original art so this is a small background on Vidyarthi Vishesh. Uh, 2019 was our last physical exhibition after which because of the pandemic we shifted online and this is uh, although we did a dual uh, uh, online as well as offline presence in the year 2012 very tentatively venturing online uh, this year is our first full-fledged online exhibition. So uh, this is a small background and uh, I would like to wrap up this evening by uh, saying a very big thank you to all of you, Architect Patel, Brinda, you both are extremely busy people. And to take time off and come to us this evening, share your uh, insights with us, share your presence with us. Thank you so, so very much. We really appreciate it. Uh, where Vidyati Vishesh is concerned, I have a big thank you to say to all the students and the art teachers who repose their trust in the gallery and you all came and exhibited with us the art lovers who backed us, the corporates, architects and designers who use a lot of student art for their projects, uh, even individual homeowners who have encouraged this exhibition and waited for it time and again, who've contributed to its popularity. Thank you very, very much. And um, last but not the least, I would thank our mentors and our jury members. We've had a lot of external jury members year after year who have very diligently poured over each work, reviewed the work, uh, discussed it extensively before rejecting or accepting it. It's thanks to you that Pradarshak today is synonymous with quality fine art. Um, I also take this opportunity to tell you all that this is going to be a long exhibition. It's a one month long exhibition online only. And uh, to substantiate the kind of, uh, you know, the 25th anniversary and everything, we have uh, organized some engaging evenings where we have panel discussions and uh, dialogues with a lot of uh, well-known um, gallerists, uh, academicians, artists, and uh, they, they are going to touch upon different aspects of art in different domains. So it's every Friday and Wednesday, uh, every week, that's uh, from next week onwards. Please stay tuned. You can follow our uh, social media on uh, at, at the rate Gallery Pradarshak on FB and Insta. Uh, this is the way that 
you know people go nowadays so we are moving with the times and of course it has helped a lot because we are reaching a lot of global buyers so the students get that much more exposure stay tuned we will send you individual invites but for the details our social media is uh, where you will get all the updates thank you so so very much all of you thanks for making this a lovely evening thank you very much so uh, yeah, i'll take the permission of our esteemed guests now uh, brinda and uh, architect uh, hiren patel sir uh, I i'll declare the exhibition open on your behalf because that's how it is now we do not have a ribbon to cut here or a candle to light so uh, yeah sure <laughs> so we uh, the exhibition is live now it's on uh, galleryprashak.com uh, people who are used to uh, looking at our site will see there are small iterations that we've made positive changes lots more on the anvil will come up soon so stay tuned and uh, enjoy the show thank, thank you, you thank you so much thank you for inviting us thank you our pleasure sir bye everyone thank you bye bye